Hi, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are making a galette. What is a galette, you may ask? Well, all that is is a fancy name for the cutest little rustic pie. Today we are going to be making cherry. I have here just your basic can of cherry filling. At the end of this video, I'm going to post a link to a video showing you how to turn this into a fantastic filling fit for a galette. But first we need our crust. We're gonna make a dough that is old fashioned, flaky, buttery, perfect for our little pie. It's been about an hour and a half and I just pulled our dough out of the refrigerator. We have two, we only need one for this little pie. So one I'm gonna put in the freezer and use it another time. What I wanna do is use my cast iron pan. Now I've never put one on here before. I don't know if it's gonna leak all over my oven or what it's gonna do. I just thought a little rustic pie on a cast iron pan, how cute is that? And our filling is all done. It's nice and cool. So we're ready there. Okay, so here's our dough. Put a little bit of flour on top of them. There's nothing real fancy with this. We just want to start from the middle and work our way out. And you can see all the little bits of butter in here. That's what we want to see. Because when all this butter in the oven starts to melt, that's what gives us steam and that's going to cause all those flakies that we like. So let's just get this rolled out. And as you can see, none of this is perfect, but that's okay. It is our rustic little pie. Let's see that right there. Let me just start folding him up. And there's no perfect way to do this. And that's what's so nice because it's rustic. So there you go. Okay, so we have our oven. It's preheating to 425. And right now we're just gonna put a little egg wash on him. Just brush him a little bit. This is gonna help get it all nice and golden brown for us. Perfect. Now we just want to sprinkle it with a little bit of sugar. Oh my goodness, look at this. It turned out beautiful. Nice and brown and toasty. It really is nice. And it smells so good. My house smells amazing right now. Dan just came in and asked me what's for dinner. <laughs> Pie. that's all I got but that is okay I am gonna let this cool and it probably will take a few minutes it's really hot but I wanted to share with you a little tip if you notice how everything is laying so nice a thing you can do is before you put this in the oven is just put it into the refrigerator for about 15 minutes and it really helps it to hold its shape beautiful and if you'd like to stay cooking in the kitchen just hit one of these videos here and I will meet you over there 